everyone. I'm going to tell you about how to set up the light inside of the Enscape. So first, like I said at the beginning of the beginning of the tutorial, well, uh, you can just simply drag your light mouse button and press Shift and change your timeline. So I'm going to just press Hide. So you can see the the time over here, the right down side. But maybe, like for example, like uh, one o'clock, like here. Well, maybe you'd like to have a did the, uh, the look direction of the your shadow. So to do that, just simply you can go to the render tools, and well, yeah, you just see here inside of the Rhino in your in the render tools there's a toggle sum panel and just turn on this one. You're going to have these panels like this. And then just turn on your sun settings and, and then it's directly going to use your sun settings here. So you can just use a manual control or automatic control. So first, uh, your, let's untick this manual control and Within that, you can just choose your date or your time from here or your location, for example, like if you are in LA, like you can just look for the Los Angeles here. And now it has the same, uh, same sun, sunlight within the, within Los Angeles. And here you can choose the date or time, whatever you want, like this. So this is this makes a bit more realistic light. But however, if you don't like those all of them, you can just control by manually, like change in control. Or like uh, before that, even though it's not manual, you also can change your look, uh, the direction of your site. For example, just by changing this one, your location of the sun is changing. Well, which means actually your site is, the north of your site is changing like this. And then, or if you click the manual control, you don't see your timeline anymore. But however, you can change, you can control your sun position whatever you want, like this. So you can change something like this. Yeah, it's totally up to you. And uh, if you, once you decide, decide your sun position, well, for example, maybe I'd like to, yeah, let's say this. And if you do like to save these settings, just here, save as your sunlight, and then save, like sun01, for example. And so, once you're changing your light in every different position, something like this, and then if you just load this file, it's directly going back to your saved uh, sun settings. So by, by doing this, you can save a lot of different sun settings for different viewpoint, I mean, different views. And the, uh, when we turn on your, our loop, you can see, oops, maybe it's like here. You can see here is a very dark. So maybe you'd like to put your, some artificial light inside of there or they, well, for now, it's easier to see maybe just, I'm going to turn up the sun roof, I mean, roof, and make it to night. And you can just use the, use your Lino light settings. So here are your light settings inside of the render tools. There are some couple of different uh, light settings. So first, let's see, look at the one by one. So creative spotlight is going to create like this kind of shape. Oops. So 
so yeah just just like the names actually so if well where is it ah, if, yeah you can see it create the some spotlight like this well if it is too bright you can change your intensity or you also can change your ah well you can see here it's led because of this has a, like a lot of reflections so maybe just to see easier yeah just i can just put like this for now yeah and you also can change your color of the light like this well, let's keep white for now and you can just turn off your light like just press this one and then point light is also point light like wow and you also can change your intensity like this and i usually like to use rectangular light which uh, provides you a wide range of the light so there you go yeah so it, it just create a wide range of the light and again you also can change your intensity by changing a light and the one well, one convenient thing of the enscape when you change to the day view well as you can see here even though there is a, a shadow over here you don't see the light over here so it's automatically turn off your light uh when it, when there is just enough sunlight and then when it becomes dark it starts to shining and like I showed you before, you we already uh, we we also can change your you also can give your light inside of your material. So for example, orange self illumination. Well, like this. Or uh, there are a couple of light inside of your asset library. So here, lightings. Well, but unfortunately, not all of them contains a light, but some of them already contains a light. For example, this one, like as you can see here, it already contains a light. But well, I don't remember exactly, but some of them are not contain the light. So you have to be careful. And then when you go to the street props, like for example, this apartment, it also already contained the light so as you can see well i'm going to turn off this one for now so yeah as you can see this apartment it already contains a light so this is really good thing about the the enscape and it's really easy to use all the libraries and it's really convenient so and that's pretty much about the light and so once you finalize your render I already show you how to capture your image over here but yeah there is also a different way to capture your to show your render in landscape I mean, in Enscape. so first is as you can see here this is like a if you have a like a different a lot of a lot of view and then if you want to save it in same time you can just simply click this one and you can just choose the view or all cat view and then it's going to render all the views what you have and then first and the other one is here ext exe you can just save your render to just a standalone file and this will save your model and render and you can send it this to someone like who doesn't have rhino or enscape yeah as you can see here it generated uh, exe file once you open this file 
it's going to have exactly same your model and you also can move around or again if i press the space it changed to the walk view oops yeah walk view so you can move around oh we don't have to here okay there was why and also you also can save into the web well you don't need your your personal home page website for this all you need to do is just simply sending this one and then it's going to generate the, the website address as well and then you can just simply send this uh, address to someone you want to show your lender but yeah here as you can see is exactly the same but light of the view web view is a bit like i mean i don't feel this is very nice so well i mean my personally recommend my personal recommendation is just send your files exe files to someone and yeah, yeah they will they will have a look your land lenders and in here where is it uh yeah there is a 360 images degree images so once you click this one it's going to create the 360 degree panoramic view and for example like if you upload this to your facebook yeah you can just you can have a look around the uh, all the way around so 360 degree camera is going to generate the uh, just one single shot of the 360 degree and this one is a good cardboard view it's going to generate like a two separate view to use to use in the Google Cardboard to uh, give you like the uh, VR experience sort of things. And yes, actually pretty much this I covered about the landscape. If you have any questions, yeah, you can ask me anytime. And thanks for listening.